All right, so I dropped in the pump. Um, as you saw my other, whatever you saw before, I made the, uh, there's my pump down there. I used PEX and then some zip ties to zip the wire to the PEX to make it go all the way up, as you can see, as you saw right there on that video. And there's my pump, I'm sorry, right there. There's my pump, it runs up. Um, I don't think you could see it from this side, but there it is, yeah. Um, pump runs up. There's the blue. Runs up and it runs over here. So I'm gonna run this down now. Uh, I'm thinking I was gonna run PEX, but that doesn't make sense. If I run PEX and I need to change out the pump, you're looking at a really big procedure. Um, I don't want a big procedure. I know PEX will be stronger, it'll be last longer, whatever the case may be, but you're looking at a long procedure. If the pump goes out in two, three years and I just gotta change out, I gotta just pick this, pick this thing up and then twist it out, put it back in, I'm done, new pump is on, that's it. So I'm gonna use a half inch. Um, I'm thinking about using the leftover Python tubing that I have. Let's see if that works. I got leftover Python tubing. Look, see it right here? I got left on Python tubing that I cut from my um, siphoning system. This might work. It's more of a three quarter inch than half inch. Sorry to say it is, but I'm gonna see if it'll work and maybe we can make it fit because I got it to fit on my I got it to fit on my ultraviolet, um, my UV sterilizer. So I got to put it on my UV sterilizer. I got it to fit right here. I'm going to put a clamp on here and then I'm going to run it down and run it over. And I think I'm going to run it over there. The only reason I say that is because now I could change out either one of them when they break or something happens very quickly and easily. And you know, they're going to break at some point. It's inevitable. Stuff is going to break. So either this is going to break or the pump is going to break in the next two three years and you're going to have to change it out if they stop making the lamp for this or the pump breaks and you got to get a new pump you know all this stuff no matter what you're going to have to change it out so just hear me out you're going to have you're going to want to put something that's more um you know interchangeable on the uh on the water, uh, out, in, whatever, you know what I mean, just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm going to cut that, I'm going to make this work, and that's it. I just wanted to put a little update and a little video about that, alright? Thank you, bye-bye. Hello everyone, we are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews here, and um, I just want to show you how I have my hookup on my UV sterilizer, because I couldn't find any videos on YouTube. So this is how I have it um, set up. I don't have the light hooked in yet. As you notice, there is no light hooked in here. Um, I'm testing for leaks is what you should do the first uh, 24 hours, uh, I think it said. So you should test for leaks. So I'm doing that. So I'm just running the water. So I have a tube here with a stainless steel clamp that's clamping that onto here. Uh, I used my Python tubing. If you have extra tubing from your Python, you'll be able to use that. You saw my other videos, I had to cut my Python because it was too long. Um, but if you have extra Python, you can use that and it works out fine, at least for me it did. And I ran it right under here. We're gonna go to the other side and see where it comes up, but I'm just showing you on this side. And I used the stainless steel clamp. And the reason why I did this instead of something more permanent uh, is because Eventually, you're going to have to change out the light or change this out or if they stop making this in three years, you're going to have to, and I want to have this for a couple years, so you might have to change this out. What if it, you have to change this out two, three years from now? You know what I mean? Like you want to be able to take that off really easily. So this is rated for 233 gallons per hour. I have 250 gallons per hour going through it, so it's a little bit more than it should be. But that's the only option that I had right now. So that's it. So that's how it's running in. Like I said, there's no um, light going in right now. And see, it's coming out right there. As you can see, yeah, it's coming out, see? And then um, 
here's where it's going in. Here's the the uh, the return. So that's my pump right there. It's returning. It's pumping in. I put brass fittings on here, and it goes all the way around. Goes down. I put a fitting on here. Another stainless steel um, clamp I put on, and it fits perfectly over a half inch PEX pipe. If you're going to do the same setup as me, this can give you an idea. Hopefully, now you can um, you know put UV on whatever tank that you want. If you're checking this out. And you can see what I got see and that's where it runs to the other side see I made it like an extra six inches just in case you got to move it around or cut it you can always cut it I don't want to you know be stuck with um, having to add stuff to it so that's why I'd rather have cut um, you know an extra six inches I can always cut away and see what's up so it's pumping through everything's working it's not leaking it's been about 24 hours so you should make sure it's not leaking for 24 hours after you hook this all up I have brass fittings up here. Everything seems to be working fine. And that's just a little review of my UV setup uh, that I'm working on right now. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.